now uh, I just want to you know uh, display this information on front end currently we are not displaying any information anywhere correct so we are going to display this information on front end so how we are going to do that so to do that we just have to you know create one views so uh, look so uh, that will be one uh, page like book page where all the book information will be displayed so i'm going to create one folder here i'm naming it as pages and uh, from now onward whatever uh, you know page we add uh, we will be adding in inside this so uh, I, i'm just uh, following the best naming convention so uh, whatever page we are going to add in the future we will be going to add in the pages section and pages folder so here you can create book dot hbs or books you can say so this will be our listing page so i'm not going to write everything here i'm just going to search bootstrap 3 okay and uh, I will be copying pasting uh, HTML. So uh, uh, we were doing in the past, right? So I will just copy paste HTML. So let me just co copy list group. List group. I will be copying list group. Okay. And this look fine. This look fine, right? So just copy paste it. Delete everything. I don't need this one also and delete this as well okay now here uh, I'm going to write one uh, I'm going to write one you know uh, for each loop so in SBS how you are writing for loops so you just have to add two curly braces then has and here you have to write each okay and and uh, like here each and uh, uh, object so it table object it table object can be anything since we are not you know passing anything to this as uh, uh, book dot hbs as of now and we are not calling this book dot hbs as of now so this will not work or so let me just uh, go to backend and uh, just render the information whatever we are sending so instead of redirecting i'm going to render uh, that uh, template books.sbs uh, so that book.sbs is present inside pages slash books now we are going to send data data to uh, the books.sbs right so for that uh, here i'm going to write books and i'm going to fetch whatever books is present in the database so how i'm going to do that so to do that you just have to write const books equal to sorry i forget to you know write await syntax here without await book uh, it will never create any book because book dot create returns promise and uh, since i forgot to add await here so this will never work now write await and here book dot find and i'm going to write one uh, a curly braces inside like find everything okay and just i'm done now return the books whatever i have got okay so this is done right so instead of uh, writing like this like this one books books i can simply write books this is the es6 syntax and uh, you can follow this so this is uh, this will work uh, i guess so le let's just see and uh, here just write console dot log to check if it is working or not books first uh, what i have to do is uh, just add you know uh, just remove this one as well for now 
otherwise we will get some kind of error so new book and uh, cover image author name just add whatever information we have added and click on this one look we are getting this uh, books template here so in the books template we have only one entry news and it is getting printed here now what i want to do is print all the book information so let's just check console here look we have all the information all the books information percent all the book information percent okay so we have all information book information here so let me just uh, write a loop what i was telling you in the uh, just uh, just back and um, here so to write loop you just have to write each and what we are sending from the back end we are sending books and books is books is a array you know, books object is a array look this books object is a array look here it is a starting from the square bracket so this is a array it table and array is it table right so here you just have to type books since we are passing books and uh, to end this loop you just simply have to write each so slash each is to end this loop and slash each uh, has each to uh, start the loop and inside that loop i'm going to print whatever was the uh, book name so book name uh, let me just check the database so here we have book underscore name cover image cover underscore image so just let me just print the book underscore name so this will be so to access any uh, you know variable we just have to call this dot book underscore name this function is required to access any model variable or any uh, any specific field uh, just uh, you fact format this document and uh, let's just see what information we are getting so again we will redirect here again test something something okay uh, add book look all the book information whatever we have added is printed here so first we have added test test 2 test 3 book test 4 book new book and test whatever we have added is printed here right but look uh, we are adding book in on the book information but uh, we are also rendering that on the book page so that is not uh, what we wanted right so let me just uh, move this render function to some other route which will only display the book information so the better route will be like slash book where we will be displaying every information uh, all the information of uh, whatever we have added so uh, you can just copy paste uh, this one and uh, go here and uh, you can paste and look this is uh, get, uh, uh, showing me the error why because await keyword always works with async function so uh, i'm going to translate this uh, whole call back to uh, arrow function as well as i will write async now here i have to write arrow function now just format this uh, document this is formatted right uh, remove console log this is no more needed and uh, here uh, we are not redirecting to anywhere so we will be redirecting to uh, this dot redirect to slash book we will be redirecting to slash book so what it will do after adding uh, any book it will redirect me to slash book so slash book is this route 
uh, uh, so it will uh, just simply print all the information all the book information uh, which we have and uh, we will testing this uh, we will just uh, test this uh, scenario uh, let me just add any book test or uh, we don't have to uh, but let me just show you uh, the redirect once again test 6 So ISBN Jainer Sci-Fi test. Look, it has redirected me to slash book. And uh, one more thing, you can also type slash book. It will simply print all the information of the book which we uh, have. So uh, let me just uh, print all the information. Currently, we are just uh, printing book name only but uh, let me just print all the information of the book so here i am going to write book name and uh, let me just print image also img so src will be this dot cover image author this dot author name isbn this dot isbn okay so this information we uh, uh, you can write rest of the information but currently i am going to write only this for information uh, let me just uh, refresh and see if this is working ah this is working right this is working fine okay so what i'm going to do is just reduce the width and height of this uh, image so i'm going to write width height as 200 and again decrease it yeah look this is working fine here we have got book name test author so just add one line break Okay, we have added line break, and uh, this should look nice. You know. So we have this one: book name test, author name Ajay, deep. Whatever we have added is getting displayed here. Uh, I'm not going to focus more on UI part because I'm not expert in UI, but I will show you how this works. So currently we have displayed book name. We have uh, displayed book name we have displayed uh, author name isp and image feature wise we are, are able to add book we are able to add display books so that's the first part and we have successfully completed it congratulations on that uh, if you have successfully done uh, a display a book information